What's going on, fam? It's your boy Slav coming at you today with a highly anticipated, very highly anticipated unboxing. As you can see, we have the Stranger Things tarot deck and guidebook. So, I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting all, I have been waiting all day, finally got it, like about, I say, about four hours ago, but I was kind of busy, so I wanted to take my time with this. So here we go. So you can see I have, I haven't opened it, handy down the exact one I've, hoping, hoping everyone's having a great day. Morning, night, evening, wherever you are in the world. Many blessings. Oh man, I am super freaking hyped for this, yo. I cannot express in full detail right now because people are sleeping, but oh man. I've been waiting for this since pre-orders came or released. And I ordered it as soon as pre-orders dropped. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's pop that. And there it is. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at this. Includes a fully illustrated Sony 8 card deck and 124 page guidebook. Netflix award, Emmy award winning series Stranger Things has captivated the imaginations of millions of viewers all around the world. Now fans can experience a series like never before with the first official Stranger Things tarot deck. Featuring original artwork inspired by the classic tarot iconography. This 78 card deck comprise, comprises both major and minor arcana and depicts fan favorite characters, imagery, and themes from Stranger Things. I love the theme song. I'm not gonna lie. It's my it's actually my ringtone. Oh, and it's got a nice little pull tab here. Okay, before we... Oh, man. Oh, and the cardstock feels legit. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to get all giddy here. I do, like, I can't wait to use this. The Major Arcana. Oh, that's cool. The Magician. Oh, okay, I like this. Yo, so it gives you like full. Oh, I'm loving the way they did this. This is great. Wow, okay. So, yeah, there's the guidebook and then the dice. Oh, this is so cool. So I wonder what dice are like if they're scoops. Oh shit. Queen of dice, the dice. So I'm wondering if the dice is pentacles. Strands, so I'm guessing wands maybe. Wow. That is dope. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Meeting your deck. Okay, let's try meeting your deck. Let's see what what this is all about. Uh, I don't see anything. You could always pause it if you want to continue reading. Okay, and then it goes into that, but 
I want to know what the arcana means. Okay, here we go. And I don't see... <laughs> It's as, a, it's as if they rewrit the arcana. Huh. Oh, okay, okay, there it is. Connected to the element of fire. Okay, so strands is wand, suit. Okay, dice is swords. Okay, scoops is pentacles. And spokes are cups. All right. Now that we know, let's... let's Delve into the cards. Okay, so I gotta fix that. There we go. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Let me put this aside. Okay. Right off the bat. I can see there's oh never mind. There there was a slight problem. I'm, there might still be. Okay, so as you can see already, they are uneven with the cuts. But the actual card stock itself is very good. Like, I'm not going to shuffle, but yeah, they're really good. So, so if having an even deck, like some, there's some cards that are not, that are smaller than others. As you can see, like right there. But... I don't care. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we got. Oh, so we're not even hitting the major arcana yet. Oh, okay. So the arcana is in the back. That's what I like to start out with. So let me. Let me put this in order really quickly. Because. Oh, wow. Okay. As a matter of fact, we'll go backwards. We'll go. We'll count down, and then we'll do the, the what's it called? We'll just put them in order like this. Okay, so we got the world. Look at that. Judgment. The sun. The moon. The star. The tower, the devil, temperance, death, the hangman, justice, will of fortune, hermit, strength, chariot. The Lovers, The Hierophant, <laughs> The Emperor. Yo, he is so good in Season 4, my goodness. The Empress, so is Hopper. And, uh, and her, she, she is too. The High Priestess, The Magician, The Fool. Alright. So now they are in order. Set those aside, and now let's continue on. <clears throat> Whew, here we go. Ooh. There we go. I'm super excited, as you can tell. All right. Oh, shit. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ace of Spokes. Two spokes. I'm just gonna go through the deck. <laughs> Did 
dude, I'm really liking this. strands all right wait oh, okay yeah 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 okay hmm that's actually really cool like you got you got him looking out to the horizon and she's like lifting the fucking van <laughs> I love it all right ace of strands I don't know why they would call these strands when they're cords, but all right. <laughs> that was a funny scene. Okay. <laughs> I love this character. <laughs> the king of strands. Queen of strands, okay. Scoops. Alright, so this is cups, I believe. Hmm. That's interesting. And you know, the crazy thing is, these... These cards are so vibrant. Like, my goodness. The cardstock, the way it feels is very good. The only downside I might see happening is it getting creases. That's that's the downside I see. I see them creasing up. Because it's, it's the way the material is. Like, you got this very smooth... Um, Oh my goodness, it feels as though, like, I don't know if you guys have ever um, dealt with the uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot, but it has that type of feeling on the, on the front of the card stock, and then on the back, it feels like a regular card. You know what I mean? Like, it has, like, a, a certain graininess to it. It's weird. I'm not gonna lie, I really love this deck. I don't see myself using it as much. It's more like a novelty deck for me. I'll probably be using it like every so often. Uh oh, what's this? What's going on here? Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. All right, so apparently some glue got stuck onto the decks, onto the cards, I should say. That's weird. But it's like that type of glue that rolls off. Like, once you get it going, you can just roll it right off, so it's not bad. Okay. Queen of Scoops. Alright. Dice. Sorry for all that. Two of dice. Oh, I love this. It's like a D&D &D board they're on. That's so cool. This is dope. Hmm. 
Who is that? Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. And the Queen of Dice. And ladies and gentlemen, that is... The Stranger Things Tarot. Let's see how it shuffles now. Now that I'm done the walk the the flip through. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get a nice even. Even half going. Here we go. It feels like it'll shuffle really nicely, y'all. Yeah. Not bad for its first shuffle. Let's do it one more time. Nice even half. There we go. And it's like folding in a little bit too, so. So yeah, oh yeah, look at the double down. That's wild. I don't know, did we see the double? I mean, that, I think that's what we did. I don't know. Maybe. All right. That is... The Stranger Things Tarot. What do you guys do? What do you guys feel? How do you guys like it? Is it cool for you? Would you? Is this a? Is this a deck that you would put into your uh, your main reads or daily reads or anything like that? Or would you do what I'm about to do and just keep it as a novelty deck? Something to. To have as a as a Stranger Things fan, you know, that's awesome. I love I love this deck. This is pretty cool. The way they cut it and everything like that, it's you know could could have been better better presentation uh, with the card stock. Well, not the card stock, the actual cut of the cards. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold that too too much because it feels as though like it's a D and D book. So when you rifle through it it feels like a book, like book pages. Which I kinda like. I kinda like that a lot. Um and even the actual borders of the of the cards looked like it was like they were from books. You know, like they were in a book. You know what I'm saying? Like you had the burnt edges and everything. It was pretty it's pretty cool. Pretty very very cool. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm interested to know what you guys think. Drop your comments down below. And until next time, guys, blessed be, fam. Blessed be. Later.